Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and welcome to this complete tutorial of the Aerocaster live streaming system. In this video, you'll learn how to install the Aerocaster apps on your mobile devices, connect the VRC01 controller and video and audio sources, get the best audio mix, add media files and live text, create split screen and picture in picture layouts, and how to set up your stream to go live. To get started, you'll need an iPad, an iOS or Android smartphone or tablet, the VRC01 hardware controller, the included USB cables, and a microphone. If you do not have a microphone, you can use your phone or tablet's mic, or use the built-in mic on the VRC01. First, download the Aerocaster Live app to your iPad from the App Store. Be sure to download the Aerocaster Live app, not to be confused with the Aerocaster Switcher app. Next, download the Aerocaster Camera app for your iPhone or Android mobile device. In this example, we'll be using three iPhones, so each device will need the Aerocaster Camera app installed. If you want to screen share from a computer, you'll need to install the Google Chrome web browser. Now, let's discuss some connectivity options with the Aerocaster streaming system. Use a USB-C cable to connect the VRC01 to a 5-volt power adapter. If you have an iPad with a lightning connector, connect the included lightning to USB cable to the VRC01 device port, then connect the VRC01 to your iPad. If you have an iPad with a USB-C connector, connect a cable with USB-C on both ends to the VRC01 device port. We recommend to fully charge your mobile devices before starting a live stream but you can also use an adapter to charge your iPad during live streaming. For iPads with a lightning port, we recommend using a lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. And for iPads with a USB Type-C port, use the USB-C digital AV multi-port adapter. Now let's go over the Aerocaster Live app UI interface. The Aerocaster Live app is your main studio where you set up and control your video and audio sources. The VRC01 controller is linked to the app, which gives you full control of your live stream and content. At the very top of the screen is an audio meter that allows you to monitor your audio mix levels. And in the top left corner is a video window with a green outline. This is Preview. By default, it's the same as Program, the video window with a red outline, which is located to the right of it. Program is the final output. This is what your audience sees. We'll come back to this later once we add some camera sources. In the top right corner, there are icons which allow you to start streaming and access the system menu settings. And in the bottom left corner, there are three rows of sources. The media row, which contains imported audio, images, and videos. The scene row, which contains your layouts and overlays. And the input row, which contains up to five camera and browser sources. In the bottom right corner, there are three menus to choose from, giving you easy access to remote camera settings, video transition effects, and additional audio settings. Now let's cover how to connect a camera source. Sources send video and audio to the iPad via Wi-Fi. No video cables required. You can also use tethering on compatible iPads with a 4G or 5G data plan. There are two ways to connect sources to the Aerocaster Live app. The first way is to use the Aerocaster Camera app. When you open the app, you will see your device's camera prompt with some adjustment settings along the top and right side of the interface. You can also make these adjustments remotely by using the Aerocaster Live app. Next, go back to the iPad with the Aerocaster Live app and tap one of the plus buttons on the input row and select the camera you want to connect. Please allow a few seconds for the camera to connect. Once you see a video thumbnail, replace that plus button. The camera is ready to use. You can also tap and hold that video thumbnail to rearrange, delete, or rename it. At the end of the input row is an information icon that gives you details on all connected sources, as well as an option to adjust the device's audio level if you are using it. The second way to add sources is with any computer running Google Chrome. Tap the plus button to add a camera. An option will appear below the camera list to add web browser source. Tap that button and a short web URL will pop up on screen. Open Google Chrome on your computer and enter the URL. If you choose Open Video Input Device, select a webcam from the drop-down list and click Select. 
For this example, we'll be selecting Start Screen Capture. You have three options for viewing, the entire screen, a software window, or a tab in Chrome. Once your source is selected, click the Share button. Then click the Connect button to send the browser source to Aerocaster Live. Let's now go over the UI interface found on the Aerocaster camera app. Starting at the top left corner, the camera icon switches between the front and rear lens. If you have more than one rear lens, the circular shutter icon next to it switches between them. The flashlight icon turns the device's built-in LED light on and off. Next to the magnifying glass icon are three buttons to zoom in and out. If you want to fine-tune the zoom setting, use the slider control in the Aerocaster Live app. On the right side, exposure will brighten or darken your image. The default setting is continuous, which adjusts the exposure throughout your stream. Auto will automatically adjust it once and then lock the setting. And manual gives you full control over this setting. White balance adjusts the color. If the colors appear too warm or cool with the default continuous setting, select and adjust the manual option until your desired look is achieved. Focus will sharpen or soften your image. The default setting is continuous, which adjusts the focus throughout your stream. Auto will set and lock your focus, and locked allows you to manually adjust the focus with a slider. If using an ultra-wide lens, the focus setting will be disabled by default. The last setting is stabilization, which can be helpful for camera sources that are handheld without using a gimbal. You can also adjust these settings from the iPad using the camera menu in the bottom right corner of Aerocaster Live. Also, the gear icon in the top right corner lets you change the quality output of the Aerocaster camera sources. If you change this setting, you will need to close and restart each Aerocaster camera for the change to take effect. Now that we're familiar with the Aerocaster camera app UI, let's go over how to switch camera sources. When you select a different source, it changes on both preview and program. If you want to see what an input looks like or adjust your camera settings before sending it to program, turn off the To Program Directly button. Then select a source and it will appear on preview only. When you're ready to send it to program, tap the Take button. Also, selecting the Fade button will allow you to fade out the program video. You can tap it again to fade in iPads with USB-C connectors can also output full-screen video with a compatible adapter and HDMI cable. If you want to see full-screen video on the iPad itself, tap the icon in the top right corner of the program window to make the video full-screen on the iPad. You can tap it again to go back to the Aerocaster Live interface. Getting great audio with Aerocaster is quick and easy. While the VRC01 has a built-in microphone and you can mix audio from each connected smartphone, we recommend using a dedicated microphone. Any microphone with an XLR or TRS connector can be connected to the back of the VRC01. It also supports condenser microphones. Just turn on the 48 volt phantom power switch on the back. There is one for each microphone input. Let's set up a microphone. Before we start, turn on the Direct Monitor button and turn the Gain knob all the way down if they are not already. On the left side, connect your headphones and turn it up to a comfortable level. Let's start by setting up Mic 1. Slide the fader to the bold line 3 quarters of the way up. Now do the same for the main fader. Adjust the input gain by slowly turning the Mic 1 knob clockwise while talking into the microphone. Keep increasing it until the signal peak indicator is mostly yellow. Next, slowly turn up the comp limiter knob. This will apply compression to the signal, which brings quiet and loud audio closer together while making the overall signal louder. If you turn this knob all the way up, it goes into limiter mode. If you suddenly have loud talking or bump the microphone, the limiter prevents sudden distortion of your audio. The Direct Monitor button is disabled by default. This means that you can hear the entire audio mix on your headphones, including imported media clips and the mics on your camera sources. You can still hear the VRC01 mic and line inputs, but there will be a slight delay. Turn Direct Monitor on if you want to listen to only the VRC01 mic and line inputs without any latency. Note that the loopback knob is disabled when using Aerocaster Live. 
When testing the microphone, press the low cut button if there is too much bass and press the de -er button if S sounds are too noticeable. The auto leveler button has four settings, off, green, yellow, and red. This feature also brings quiet and loud audio closer together, with red being the most noticeable. It's similar to the comp limiter effect, but for your entire VRC01 mix. Aerocaster automatically calculates and adjusts the delay between your audio and video. But if the sync for your mic and line sources appears off during your test stream, turn off the direct monitor button and then turn up the lip sync delay knob on the VRC01 until it is in sync. There is also an audio delay for the entire mix in the Aerocaster Live Audio Settings tab. To add background music and sound effects, there are two options. The first option is to connect a music player to VRC01's 8-inch line input. Slide the line in fader to the bold line 3 quarters of the way up. You can adjust it during production as needed. Play your device's audio and slowly increase the volume on the music player until the signal peak indicator is mostly yellow. The second way is to import audio files from your iPad. Tap the plus button, choose audio, and select a file to import. A play icon will replace the plus icon. To play the audio, tap anywhere on the clip and tap it again to pause it. While it's playing, you can adjust the audio level and enable looping. If you want to adjust those clip settings before playing it, turn off the To Program Directly button. If you do this, you will need to directly tap the play icon to play the clip. In the Aerocaster Live app, the audio tab in the bottom right corner has additional settings for audio sync, muting the entire mix, and adjusting the volume of background music and sound effects that are assigned to the head buttons. Aerocaster can display images and video clips stored on the iPad. To add an image or video, tap the plus icon on the media row then choose Still Image or Video. Choose your source from the list on your iPad. To display or play the imported media as a source, simply tap it on the media row. For video clips, a thumbnail and play icon will replace the plus icon. To play the video, tap anywhere on the thumbnail to send it to program and tap the pause icon to pause it. While it's playing, you can adjust the playback position, clip volume, and enable looping. If you want to adjust those clip settings before playing it, turn off the To Program Directly button. If you do this, you will need to directly tap the Play icon to play the clip and the Take button to send it to Program. To delete the clip, press and hold it and choose Delete from the pop-up menu. At the end of the media row is a trash can icon that you can tap to delete everything you imported. This will not erase it from the storage on your device. The scene row contains your layouts and overlays. At the end of the row is an icon with three dots. Tapping this gives you the option to delete or reset all scenes to default. Let's set up a couple of text and media overlay scenes. Tap the plus button at the end of the scene row. Choose text from the list. Here you can adjust the size, position, font, and colors of the text box. Once finished, tap save to add it to your scenes. Tap the plus button again, and this time choose Media from the list. Tap Not Set to select a file that you already imported to the media row, and then tap Select in the top right corner of the pop-up menu. You can now position and resize it within the preview area and tap Save to add it to your scenes. To display either scene, tap them on the scene list. You can also use scenes to create layouts with multiple input sources. PNP is short for Picture in Picture, which lets you overlay a source in a window with another source behind it. You can change the size and position of the window when you set up this scene. Split places two sources side by side, and Quad lets you show four sources at once. You can switch between inputs and scenes using either the VRC01 or Aerocaster Live app. Next, we will set up and test a live stream. With Aerocaster, you can stream to any single live streaming platform that supports RTMP. The share icon in the top right corner opens your output settings. This is where you choose and set up your streaming platform and enable simultaneous recording to the iPad. For this example, we'll be using Twitch to stream. 
There are also login options for YouTube and Facebook Live. Once you log in, there are a few options to check. Choose the ingest server closest to you. Next, adjust the bitrate. Start with 5,000 kilobits per second, or check your streaming platform's support pages for their recommendation. The higher the bitrate setting, the higher the quality. But if your stream skips, stop the stream and lower the bitrate. Leave the resolution setting at 1080p. Most streaming platforms recommend this. Then tap the Select as Destination button to activate the streaming platform. You can also use Custom to stream to any live streaming platform. When you log into your streaming service in your device's web browser, you will typically see a stream URL and stream key, which you can copy and paste into Aerocaster Live. Let's start live streaming. Press the On Air button on the VRC01, or tap the Record button in Aerocaster Live. Once streaming starts, you will see the duration of your stream along with the current bitrate. You will also see a pop-up window with the URL to watch your stream. You can access this at any time during your stream by tapping the information icon. If you press the on air button or tap the record button during live streaming, a pop-up will ask if you want to stop it. Tap OK to confirm. That concludes our Aerocaster VRC01 tutorial. We hope that you are now more familiar with how to use and take advantage of the features offered by Aerocaster. For more information, please visit Roland.com.